Alright, I have something rather interesting I'm going to share today. Two vibratones. Alright. They look identical, don't they? Well, except for a couple of pain, and the top one has a hole. I mean, the one on the left has a hole on the top where a strobe was. But, they're actually not the same, okay? Here's the vibratone on the right. And, here's the vibratone on the left. Very, very different. One has a real high pitch, and one has a real low pitch. So, let me show you the backs. This is kind of interesting. First, the 9806 we're used to seeing, or the Vibratone we're used to seeing. Alright, I have that wired to my Alertech 5001. And now for the one on the left. Be ready. Get ready for a surprise. Bam! It's got a completely different mechanism. See, it says Federal Vibratone, and but it's got a completely different mechanism than the other one. It's a Series D mechanism, and this is a Series B. Now, you ready for the really, really interesting part? I'll show you. Here is the really, really interesting part. Ta-da! I've got my Simplex 2901-9833, which is a Faraday horn. It's called a Faraday 6020, right here. And then over here, I've got my Simplex 4903-9219. These two horns are exactly the same. And I know this horn is made by Faraday, so is this one. So, I guess what it seems like is some of the Federal Signal alarms, the mechanisms from the alarms, were actually made by Faraday for Federal Signal which is really interesting. To prove it, these two are very similar. The only difference is this one uses a mechanical thing that moves back and forth to, to create the vibrations. Well, they both do, but this one uses a switch to create the vibra to create the pulses. Only this one uses a circuit board. And the reason why it uses a circuit board is so it can have a lower pitch. This one has a higher pitch because it, because of how fast the hammer moves, but this one makes it so it goes very slow, so it has a low pitch, like you just heard. Anyway, so... And then this one, obviously, is the real high pitch that we're used to hearing. So I just thought I'd show something real interesting. Isn't that interesting? And that's not all, though. Here's some more proof. Here's the label on the simplex horn. Here's the label on the vibratone. They're the same size. And also, there's two patent numbers on the vibratone. I looked them up. See, there's two patent numbers on the vibratone. I looked them up. Both of them belong to Federal Signal. And the top one is for the grill on the horn, and the bottom one is for the housing but neither of them are for the mechanism on the back, which is interesting. Simplex horn doesn't have any patents, and the firelight horn doesn't either. See? And then the Simplex 9219 doesn't, so... And also, it says patent pending on the back of the mechanism, which means that somebody else made it. Well, sort of. It sort of means that someone else made it, but you compare it to this one and this one, then it looks like Faraday made it. Just thought I'd share something interesting.